Engaged Lessons for the 21st Century. Reading and Comprehension. Some Difference. Video 5. This is an engaged video created by Willoughby Eastlake Schools. How to use the video lesson. There are four steps and or four options. Option number one, video and questions on screen. Complete video engaged. If you are presently using a smart board, please remember to save this video first and then open it up with smart video player. Step two, option two. Video and print out only the comprehensive questions that are provided. The video will play the story and the students will write on the comprehensive questions. Step 3. Option 3. Simply print out the handout only and provide a handout for each student in your class. Step 4. Option 4. Simply use the smart board lesson that is provided only. Did you know that addition and subtraction are related to each other? They are opposites. Yes, they are just like night and day or hot and cold. Addition is able to reverse or undo subtraction. Subtraction is able to reverse or undo addition. Mathematicians have a special word for operations that are the opposite of each other. They call them inverse operations. Addition and subtraction are inverse operations. Multiplication and division are also inverse operations. You can use subtraction to undo an addition problem to see if your sum is correct. A sum is the answer to an addition problem. You can also use addition to undo a subtraction problem. In this way, you can check to see if your difference is correct. The difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. Having a way to check your answer gives you a way to justify or prove it. If you make an error, you will be able to find it easy. Some students don't give their work their full attention. That's why students often make silly mistakes on silly problems. Remember, to stay focused on the problem you are solving. Check your answer using an inverse operation. If you would please have a student come up to the smart board for the first set of questions for reading and comprehension. Thank you. Page 1. Please do not pick up a pen until you're asked to do so. Answer the following questions based on the reading passage. Don't forget to go back to the passage whenever necessary to find or confirm your answers. Question 1. What is meant by the term operations? Question 2. What is a sum? And question 3. What is a difference? If you would please, pick up a pen to answer these three questions. Okay, here are the answers that we have. Number one, what is meant by the term inverse operations? Opposite operations, as illustrated in the first paragraph. Number two, what is a sum? The answer to an addition problem, as illustrated in the second paragraph. And question three, what is a difference? This answer is illustrated right here. If your answers match ours, that is remarkable. If you would please, have another student come up to the smart board for the next series of questions. And while they're coming up here, if you would pick up your eraser and erase your answers. Thank you. Page 2. Please do not pick up a pen until you're asked to do so. Answer the following questions based on the reading passage. Don't forget to go back to the passage whenever necessary to find or confirm your answers. Number four, 
What does it mean to justify your answer? Question 5. Why should you keep your attention focused on your work when you solve addition and subtraction problems? If you would please pick up a pen to answer these two questions. Do that now. Okay, here is what we have as the answer. Number one, or number four, what does it mean to justify your answer? To prove it, as illustrated right here in the second paragraph. Question five, why should you keep your attention focused on your work when you solve addition and subtraction problems so you don't make silly mistakes? As illustrated down here, the last paragraph. If your answers match stars, that is superior. If you would please pick up an eraser and erase your answers and we would like to thank you for working with us today on reading and comprehension.